Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Warwick and you're watching Gas Techs. Today I'm gonna give you a quick little update on what's left to do on my R32, which is basically everything. You see, I have run into a little bit of a problem, but in this video I'm just gonna break down the problems I've had, what I'm currently working on, my timeline to get things done, and really what the next steps are to get this baby ready for the ice racing season because it starts in two weeks. So let's jump into it. So let's start off with what I have done so far. Firstly, I've taken the car apart. <laughs> Secondly, I haven't put it back together. But uh, what I wanted to do was focus on the under of the car the undercarriage if you will and focus on the suspension first the brakes and uh, get that all dialed in because that's main that's the most uh that's the biggest necessity in in making this car uh drivable and then i will focus on more of the interior getting it uh stockish and uh, back to good look what i've done i've removed the calipers rotors suspension uh, I removed the front fenders, as you can see right here. Um, I removed the headlights, and I removed the complete interior minus the carpet. All of the interior needed a wash, and some of the panels just needed to be replaced. So that's why I did everything all at once. But what I've started to do now, as far as fixing things, is start fixing the suspension components. Uh, I am. I ran into a couple problems with uh, replacing the bushings on the front and the rear mainly because you need a big press to do that. I don't have a press, I have a hand press. I took some of the control arms if you will to uh, dealerships to see if they could uh, or, or mechanics to see if they could help me remove them and surprisingly uh, a couple of them said no and one of them helped me halfway and they couldn't help me the rest of the way. So that's been a big challenge in the bushings. Granted, I have a lot of tools here. Um, I have basically everything I thought I need. I knew that I was gonna run into some specialty tools. But what it turns out is, uh, if you're working in your car and you don't have these specialty tools, it's easier just to buy the new component with bushings pressed in. So, there was the thought of that, it was, uh, you know, maybe 260 for the front arms and then uh, maybe 80 for the bushings. That $180 I saved cost me in productivity. Uh, so, what I would recommend is if you have the finances and obviously um, if you don't have the tools, just buy the new parts with uh, bushings pressed in already so you don't run into that problem. So that's taken me quite some time. Uh, the other thing that's taken me some time are my ice tires. If you haven't checked out that video, it's not really a fun video, but it's how I made ice tires. I made five ice tires. You can see them right here in the background. Uh, Cause really I'm gonna ice race this car so I needed tires. That took me 35 plus hours of just drilling holes, getting those done. So that was, you know, not fun, but it's a necessity. So again, working on the suspension, the drivetrain kind of uh, area. Um, from there, I have already installed the rear sway bar, uh, upgraded rear sway bar, an adjustable upgraded rear sway bar. And then I installed the front adjustable rear sway bar, but ran into a problem uh, with the steering rack bumping into the adjustable sway bar because the, the stock sway bar is a skinny sway bar and this uh, adjustable one is a much thicker one. So I went on uh, some R32 groups and basically they suggest I remove everything apart uh, from the subframe and then jump into putting that steering rack on first, which is just two bolts, and then securing the front sway bar. And they say that should fix it. I also contacted H&R and they suggested the same thing. So that's good, I'm gonna work on that next. And while I was down there, uh, another issue arose. 
I found out I have a stripped nut in my subframe. The subframe, uh, the front subframe, the, the front subframe is attached with four bolts um, and one of them is loose. And if I'm going to track this car, uh, I really don't want, <laughs> you know, 75% of my uh, front suspension at, at risk. Next project, get that sway bar fixed. Uh, or put on correctly because that's a front end project and then figure out what I can do with this stripped nut that's in the frame welded in the frame a couple different ways to solve that uh, I can either drill it out and insert something called a uh, helix I think uh, I don't know I'll put the the actual name down below you drill it out you tap it and then you put like a a space a thread in there so it's back to a, a 14 millimeter bolt I think it's 14 yeah I think it's 14 um, that's one option the other option is I can find the nut cut a hole in the frame apparently under the front driver's pedals there is a gasket with the access panel to this welded in nut um, so that's what I'm gonna really start with next is look for that and what I can do is grind that off and weld a new nut. I don't have a welder and I can't take this to someone with a welder because the car's ripped apart. So the other option is um, just get a longer 14 millimeter bolt and a nut and just go straight through the frame and the strip nut and then tighten that in. And I think that is my best bet. I think I will do that, but everything could change when I, when I actually see if I can get into this nut um, and then when the car's back together I will take it to someone with a welder and do it the correct way you know I can't let this stop me I gotta jump into getting the car back together lately well I guess the, the weather here in Chicago is getting cooler which is good good for the ice freezing but as I say that uh, today's Tuesday Thursday it's 49 degrees but ice racing is uh, in Stevens Point area in Wisconsin and they've been seeing constant uh, low temperatures. So, ice racing is gonna happen this year. Uh, even if my car is not done, I'm gonna go see a couple ice races, but really that's not an option. I want to ice race. My main priority is get all the suspension components back on and then put the new headlights in and the bumper on. Those are quick jobs. All I really need is a, <laughs> a driver's seat. I don't need a radio or anything to ice race. So. If push comes to shove that's where I will be so how long do I think this will take look ideally I want it to be two weeks until I have you know stuff working on the interior being done that is not a small feat that's gonna take a lot of hours uh, but I do I don't know I do think this is the hardest part these bushings take forever um, putting calipers back on is relatively quick replacing rotors is relatively quick uh, you can do many of the, those jobs in one day um, without crazy specialty tools. We're pushing a bushing out, could take me, and then how many bushings is this? Two, four, there's about 15 bushings, 16 bushings to push out, and it takes an hour or two to push a bushing out. Uh, if it comes out easy, it's 10 minutes. If it doesn't, then, you know, it's two hours. So I do think this is the roughest patch in all of it, and it's also the most important patch because it is the drive, train, the suspension, um, and all that shenanigans. So what you'll see in the next video is me working on this strip subframe nut, uh, fixing the rear sway bar, and hopefully if I get those done on the next video, I can actually put the whole front end back together and start getting the rotors and the calipers on. The next is the control arms in the back, those bushings I couldn't get them out. Uh, they've been soaking in gasoline for the last uh, four days. Apparently gasoline eats the rubber. I can push them out, push the new ones in. I mean, this is literally how easy it is to push the new ones in. You just push it in. To get the old ones out is not that simple. So then I'll put those control arms in the back. The, the, shock, or the shock and the spring will go in. And then it's rear calipers and rotors. It would be great if I could have all of that done. Today's Tuesday. If I could have that done by Friday. All of that. Uh, then I'll be on track and I'll be more comfortable. Uh, if I could get everything 
that I've just mentioned done by Friday. Is it uh, realistic? Look, I think it is if I work 12 hours a day. So thanks again for tuning in. I know this is a different video, but I figured I'd just give you guys an update. Um, it's not a quick update, but it's telling you where the project stands. I need to get my ass working on this a lot more and go from there. So thanks again. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to follow the progress, hopefully I'll be busting, uh, busting out projects uh, uh, a lot more frequently and quicker now. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and thanks a lot for watching. And if you have any questions about this project, leave uh, in the comments below. Until next time.